Hello, today I'm showing you how to find the encryption key for a Kodak game, uh, which is embedded here. So uh, this is like one of my encrypted uh, export templates. It's the same as I used in the decompilation video. And today I'm going to show you how to find the encryption key for this because you know people think these are it's good enough for us just just to encrypt this. It's not. Okay, so why this works, I'm going to show that first. So uh, this is a hex dumper right here, HXD. So I can drop anything in here. It shows me like the hex dump. It looks like this. And then I'm gonna show you the key I have, which I used to compile this. Uh, I'm gonna just do co simple copy here, and then Control F, hex values. I'm gonna search. Okay, and it's here. This just shows that the encryption key has to be part of the binary because you know it has to be able to open the PCK file in the first place. You, you you wouldn't use this tool to find it. We're gonna use a reverse engineering tool for that. This just shows that um, it's findable because it's in here and it has to be in here because otherwise, you know, <laughs> how would it open an encrypted PCK file if it doesn't have the key anywhere in the binary? Next, I'm gonna show you like uh, the steps that I took to find it. This is not a tutorial. This is just more of like to show you that it's not that trivial to actually find the encryption key from a game. So I have a key draw open here. I added a file, which is the same file that we used before in the hex jumper. Um, and uh, now I got key draw opened. So uh, first thing, we have to find the function we we have to find the function which uses the encryption key. Uh, I'm just going to do a simple uh, encryption key here. I already had it here. And here's the scone script which makes the encryption key. Looks promising. It defines an uh, uint8 and then presumably like just adds the encryption key here. But like, uh, you know, it writes the file. Okay, this just injects the code in here using the using the scone script okay so let's look for this script encryption key file access pack okay that's promising okay let's see which function is this this is try open pack okay so what could we use to find this function from the source code we can use strings because like this variable, which is also used in this function, this string will be too. And this string will be easier to find because it actually has unique content for this function. Why? Because of this macro. Uh, I'm not going to explain like how C and C++ works for you. It's just like, um, like I said, this is not a tutorial. This is just like how I did it. So I'm going to expand it. And... Uh, we got this file, but uh, I would rather use this. This seems way more promising. So I'm gonna like... Uh... And then uh, I'm gonna copy this. And here we're gonna do a search for strings, search. Then I'm gonna search for this one. And there we go, let's go to the location, and here um, we can see that this is not fully analyzed yet, it will take time, and once it's analyzed, it shows the references here, we just have to wait for the analyzing to end, and now uh, the reference is showing here, it shows one reference, I'm gonna double click on this, go into the decompile tab, and here we can see that it's used right here, okay. And so this is like the decompilation of this assembly, which was generated by C++, C++ compiler. It can be a little bit different, like the assembly will be different uh, based on the compiler, uh, MSVC, Clang, GCC, whatever. So this decompilation also will be different. Uh, like I see way more nesting here. So the control, uh, the code flow will be a bit different. So what I'm going to look for here is all this DAD uh, variables. All the variable names is scr are scrambled because 
when it's assembly there is no concept of variable names uh, there's just stack and heap and pointers to variables on the stack or heap so there's no concept of variables so when the decompiler the c++ decompiler generated this code all, all of these variable names are just made up so this dat means is it just means that they're like kind of global variables and this encryption key here it is a global variable so that's what i'm going to look for and it's used here to write into this vector in a for loop so i want to find one which is used in a like for loop kind of thing so we have this one global variable here and we index into it and assign it so let's have a look in here so yeah this kind of looks like the encryption key let's check if that's true uh one 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 four two four two two f two f so it is this is the encryption key like <laughs> it wasn't too difficult like uh, when i did this stuff uh when i did this for the first time it took like one hour and i i haven't used github before before then and it took only one hour to find this this is just like one more of those things that you have to like account for like actually do some research on this i feel like people just are taking what other people say even though they don't have any evidence on like how this stuff actually works like so many people have said you just encrypt the game and that's enough no <laughs> that's not enough <laughs> like here it is i had the encryption key it took like 10 minutes after after a bit of practice it's it's really not that difficult there are still more countermeasures you can take than just encryption like if you really care about uh people extracting slash decompiling your game which i'm gonna make videos on <laughs> that's like i feel like this is like a, a bit of my niche this is like i care about this like i'm not even making a game at the moment i just care about this yeah see you guys in the next one <laughs> i guess uh discuss leave comments you know start conversations i'm gonna respond to your comments um I view them all as of now, like only 61 subscribers, it's fine. Like uh, just comment something. You have any questions, I'm, uh, I will respond to them like in a, in a day or two. Yeah. Take care boys. Double click on fucking washing machine. Shut the fuck up.